Christopher. Yeah. So, as an affirmative sign, we would like to raise the nation's legal driving age to 19 years old. Some background information. In California, the age to obtain a learner's permit is 15 and a half years old, as many of you guys know. Alaska, Iowa, Kansas, North Dakota, South Dakota, and Wyoming are all states which allow 14 years old to uh, retain a driver's permit. Uh, we are trusting a 14-year-old with a complicated and deadly piece of machinery that we can't, but we cannot trust them to vote. In California, you have to have you have to have an unrestricted license by the age of 16. Unrestricted meaning you are not allowed to have passengers in the car that are under the age of 20. In the District of Columbia. 18 is able to acquire a learner's permit at the age of 16, but must wait till the age of 21 to receive an unrestricted license. According to the District, of, D District Department of Transportation, in 2006, the District of Columbia had a 0.19% uh, fatal accident report. 16,841 total, ca total cars were in an accident, and only 33 of these were, ended up being fatal. Obviously, with, these, with this percentage, there is a correlation between unrestricted driving age and mortality. So for our first significant claim about safety, in the United States, teenagers drive less than all the oldest people, but their numbers of crashes and crash deaths are disproportionately high. Our second claim is our significance claim again, which there is a problem with the environment due to CO2 emissions from cars. Which leads to our third claim, which is our inherency claim, that states there, that states there is a large number of teenagers that drive increase the CO2 being released into the environment by a large amount. For our fourth claim, which is our solvency, our plan is to add more experience to the process of getting a driver's license, which should help solve the problem of safety being jeopardized to all people on the road, besides, uh, including teenagers. Specifically, we believe that teenagers should have a permit from the age of 15 and a half to the age of 19. And at the age of 19, they would receive the full unrestricted license. This is allowing them three and a half years of experience. This plan will counteract the problem set mentioned in both of our significance claims. Back to our first significance claim, the youth between the, the ages of 16 and 19 year old, years old are more likely to engage in car accidents than young adults who get their license at 19. A definition that we'll be using a lot is IHS, which is the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety. In the United States, teenagers drive less than all the oldest people, but their number of crashes, crash, crash deaths are disproportionately high. According to the Utah Department of Public Safety crash facts report in 2009, teenage drivers represent 7% of licensed drivers, but are involved in 22% of all motor vehicle accidents. That is more than triple the amount. Between 1995 and 2004 in Utah, there were 30,917 fatalities and accidents involved in 15 to 17 year old drivers. According to the study by the AAA Foundation of tra for Traffic Safety, about one third of those deaths of teen drivers themselves. The rest were pedestrians, passengers, and people in cars that the teenage had struck. We are putting everyone in, everyone's life in jeopardy surrounding the car of a teenage driver. In the United States, the fatal crash per mile driven for 16 to 19 year olds is nearly three times the rate for the drivers of 20 years or older. According to the Washington Post, although teenagers make up 7% of the licensed drivers, there was about 14% of vehicle fatalities nationwide. Teenagers are in 20% of all accidents. That is still double. According to the Insurance Institute of High for Highway Safety, in 2011, 59% of death teenagers of teenage passengers and passenger vehicles occurred by another teenager. My partner Joey will discuss more about why teenagers are at fault for their own safety, for example, such as distractions. As for our second inherency claim, which is the problem with environment due to the problem that has to do with environment due to CO2 emissions from cars. Raising the legal driving age would undoubtedly lead towards less cars on the road, reducing CO2 emissions that in the U.S. We are not specifically only arguing that cars can harm the environment, but teenagers make up a substantial amount of cars on the road. Severely restricting their licenses would help minimize the harm due to this immensely. According to National Geographic, vehicle emission can affect the environment in several ways. Cars emit greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, which contribute to global warming. Some air pollutants, and particulate matter from cars, can be deposited in the soil and surface waters where they enter the food chain. These substances can affect reproductive, respiratory, immune, and neurological system of animals. Nitrogen oxides and sulfur oxides are major contributors to acid rain, which changes the pH of waterways and soils that can harm organisms that rely on these resources. As for our solvency plan, we are to 
um, ex increase the experience to, uh, in the process of getting a driver's license, which should solve the problem that is being jeopardized to all, all on the road by teenagers without unrestricted license. Specifically, we believe that teenagers should have a permit from the age of 15 and a half to 19. At the, at the age of 19, they would receive their full unrestricted license. This is three and a half years of experience. The additional time spent between the ages of 15 and a half and to the age of 19 should be spent gaining experience with the, an advanced driver, keeping the team from being overwhelmed with the information and allowing breaks between processing the information. The plan to solve this would be to raise the driving age instead of, instead of during the time that they would be, have a graduated license, they would still have a permit. So essentially, even though it is raising the legal driving age, we propose to extend the permit time before receiving your unrestricted license. Under the current law, it states that in order to receive an unrestricted license, it starts with a permit, followed by a restricted license, and then eventually goes to your unrestricted license. All at varying lengths of periods of time for individual states. Thus, we would, thus would, be, would be a uniform nationwide, making it a federal law. Instead of an age basis, it would be a year basis. For example, in California, you receive your license at 18 and don't have to go through permitting process, which eliminates experience altogether. According to DMV.org, you are if you are 18 or older, if you are obtaining a Class C license for the first time, they recommend that you should consider completing a driver's education class, though this is not mandatory. This takes away all the mandatory education. Joey will provide further evidence on this on statistics on this.